Oh, hi all. Welcome back to the one minute farming videos. And the second video of the strip down of the 1943 John Deere Model A. And as you can see from that video, we have managed to remove the hood along with the steering column and various other components. One thing I forgot to say on removing the hood uh, in the last video was obviously you're going to have to remove the um, move you over here the uh, the shutter control rod shutter control rod and that. Um, Sits through, sits through the uh, dashboard, and runs along. And you would need to draw that out after unscrewing this end of the lever under the hood. And you would draw that out, and therefore you could remove the um, the dashboard as well because it holds the dashboard in. So I forgot about that uh, the other night. So what else have we removed? Well, as I say, the hood's off. Um, we've took that awful abortion of an um, exhaust muffler off. Well, I think it was even an insult to the word muffler, that. It was just horrible. Um, we took the air cleaner off. Now, um, the air cleaner... <laughs> I'm at a loss as to how the air cleaner actually even worked. If I um, just come round here and get the torch, and you'll see what I mean. Um, the air cleaner was absolutely solid with um, with oily dust of the stack. Uh, I haven't opened up the um, the top of it yet, but I'm guessing that's also solid as well. So, so how old that that grime is in there? Lord, the Lord knows. But anyway, took that off, cut the. Um, the rotten, um, the rotten stack off, which is uh, laid there, um, which is scrap really, that's knackered. And um, yeah, we got that off. Unfortunately, the, um, the, bold, the body has a nasty dink in it somewhere. Oh yeah, it's there. It's a nasty dink in here. Um, but, uh, that might be a, I might be able to do something with, with that if I um, if it's to go back on. So going back to the tractor again. Um, yep. So we took that off. Uh, what else have we done? We've taken that off. Um, we've slackened the bolts off on the manifold. Oh, of course, we took the uh, top water hose pipe off, the metal one. I think that's laid down behind me, um, down there. Yeah, so that's this one. Pick it up. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that piece. Looks to me like it's a little bit shorter than it should be. I suspect there's been a bit cut off. It is quite rotten, this, and thin. So um, if this is to be reused, uh, we'll probably have to put a new, new pipe in. They are brazed into these castings, and uh, they do take some getting out. I know um, I did one on the B, and uh, it was well brazed in. That there is the, uh, the temperature sender for the temperature gauge, the capillary one. But I do, looking at this, this looks to me like it's actually an electrical one that someone screwed in. Um, that looks to me like it's an electrical terminal, which obviously wouldn't work on this tractor because it has no 12 volt system. So um, I'm guessing someone screwed that in to uh, plug the hole up. <laughs> so yeah, so that's um, that piece. Just, uh, sorry if I'm moving the camera around a lot. Um, the water gallery inside is a bit rusty. Um, but I don't think it's anything that can't be uh, cleaned up or resurrected. So again, yes as I say, we removed the nuts holding the manifold on. Um, I think that should be slack. It is. Um, always best, if you can't, I find, if you can't get the nut off, these studs, these studs, 
cut them off from the top um, gently with an angle grinder because if you keep winding at them and they snap they always snap off where they screw into the block and they're ten times harder to get out so if you're left with a decent bit of studding um, it makes it a lot easier to try and get some sort of grip on there and get work it a little bit with, and then using a pair of mill grips and getting a bit of um, um, WD-40 type product down there. So yeah, so that's another good tip there. Um, so the next thing to come off, I think will have to be the, the governor. As I say, this governor has some issues. If you, uh, again, watch the, the magneto drives, I think you'll be able to see that moving. <laughs> so something has seriously gone wrong in the governor. I'll put pound to a penny, that little oil hole, if it has one, is, um, is blocked internally. And I bet you it's been getting starved of oil. So, anyway, we shall see when we come to take the bits. Also, the, um, the governor arm itself seems to have a lot of play in it, more than it should be. And for some reason or other, I don't know what, um, come around this side. I don't know what someone's been trying to attempt here. That's obviously non-standard John Deere, along with his silly spring and um, components. Whether this, um, this spring here is getting a bit weak, I don't know. But anyway, that's definitely non-standard John Deere. Hmm. So yeah. So I think we'll get the governor off tonight, along with the fan shaft and the fan and the um, and the bracket there. Hold it on. Uh, so that will allow us access to the manifold, or well, ultimately to the, um, the cylinder head, and ultimately the block, the engine block. So, so that's where we are with it at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're making progress, we're making progress. Okay then, thanks now. Bye.